Hi, everyone. I'm Meg Bensavani Quinn from Charles Bridge Publishing, and I'm excited to share some of our favorites from the first half of 2023. Our first title makes me giggle every time I see it. From Wombat to Square Bat to Round Bat and Long Bat, no bat is left out in this silly and sweet marsupial love story. Simple text and colorful illustrations make this an eye-catching linguistic adventure. This is quotable language play. The way the words are presented are not only silly and laugh out loud entertaining, but they will also spark curiosity and language exploration for early listeners and pre-readers from ages two to five. A perfect story time selection, this one may need to come with a warning to parents and an apology in advance, but this will almost surely be on read aloud repeat once it enters the rotation. After all, we're confident Wombat will surely leave little bats, middle bats, and whopper bats alike giggling and begging for, wait for it, more bats. So if you love glitter, this book is for you. If you hate glitter, this book is also for you. Everyone seems to have an opinion about glitter, but how much do you know about this tiny, shiny confetti? What makes glitter glitter? Why does it stick to everything? Who invented it? How is it made? And is glitter bad for the environment? Chris Barton is no stranger to engaging nonfiction with titles like Woosh and the Dayglow Brothers to his credit. He puts his excellent research skills to good use here, providing a bold, quirky voice that breaks through the fourth wall and directly addresses the reader as we take a deep dive into this arts and crafts staple. Dual layer text and dynamic diagrams create a multifaceted reading experience. An entertaining author's note details his own research. Chris consulted more than 150 sources, conducted many, many interviews, and even ate edible glitter in the name of research and science. We've paired Chris with rising star Chaya Prabhat, whose vibrant art makes glitter everywhere sparkle as it covers the good, the bad, and the shiny. Back matter in this one also includes an illustrator's note, books for further reading, and a selected bibliography. A solid choice for fan of John Rocco's Hurricane and Jane Yolen and Heidi, Heidi E. Y. Stemple's I Am the Storm, Our Roof is Blue will publish simultaneously in English and Spanish, offering up a heartfelt story of resilience that follows two siblings as they work to recover and rebuild after Hurricane Irma destroys their home in Puerto Rico. Before the storm, Antonio and his sister's roof was gray. Before the storm, Antonio used to tell his sister magical stories every night until she fell asleep. After the storm, a blue tarp is placed where their old roof used to be. And after the storm, Antonio no longer tells his stories. He stops talking altogether. Gradually, the siblings imagine the tempor temporary blue roof playfully, as the ocean above them or as a parachute helping them fall from the sky. As the narrator helps her little brother feel safe, and once the family and the community build a new roof, the little boy begins to speak again. Big-hearted characters and a fresh, authentic voice explore themes of family and resilience, presented by debut author Sarah E. Ekeniche, who grew up preparing for and surviving hurricanes in her native Puerto Rico. We paired Sarah's beautiful and poignant examination of how people experience trauma with art from debut illustrator Ashley Vargas, who herself is Pinay Puerto Rican and has set the story in Cabo Rojo. Small in stature or young in years haven't stopped any of the 14 youth climate activists highlighted in No World Too Big. Like its companion title, No Voice Too Small, World captures each activist featured in a profile that includes a portrait, information about them and their passion, and a poem about their efforts penned by 14 children lit great, children lit great including Vanessa Brantley Newton, David Bowles, and Rajani LaRocca. Each spread also includes a tip for readers about how to help combat climate change. If the title alone of our next middle grade novel doesn't lead you to pick it up and read the description, I honestly don't know what will. Captain Skidmark Dances with Destiny takes readers on a journey through noogies, awkward conversations, and epic farts, all while poking at preconceived notions about what it means to be a guy, especially in Canada when you hate hockey. Captain Skidmark brings his 13-year-old Will and his 17-year-old cousin Alex. Will is a Canadian eighth grader who stinks at hockey but has a prowess for ballroom dancing. And when his hockey star of a cousin shows up, they realize very quickly they can't stand each other. But nothing's black and white, with both boys battling others' expectations, 
and Will and Alex do indeed find common ground in a funny, nuanced, and fast-paced novel that ultimately asks readers to ponder what makes a family and what makes a man. The Remarkable Rescue at Milkweed Meadow is a lightly illustrated novel about friendship, community, bravery, death, and innocence. Sweet Butternut is one of nine rabbit siblings that embraces the lesson of her family's stories. Stick to your own rabbit kind. But after befriending an incorrigible robin and a wounded deer, Butternut begins to question what she has been taught. Milkweed Meadow is one of those stories that's simple enough to grace chapter bookshelves or safely sit in a middle grade section. The content is clean, the message uplifting, and the story illustrations sparse enough that it will satisfyingly serve a variety of tastes and grade levels. At its core, it's a sweet message and clean story that's got a classic feel, memorable characters, and a solid message for ages eight to 11. Nothing is really something, you all. A point acclaimed author Liz Rush and cut paper artist Liz Goss demonstrate in this glorious picture book about exploration about the value of negative space and the broader meaning of nothingness. Created to be a mindful meditation that encourages children to appreciate the space surrounding them, All About Nothing is the first in a planned three book series of innovative art books that inspire kids to see the world differently, challenging them to notice the surprising ways art elements show up in their everyday lives affecting their perceptions and emotions. What might be hidden in the negative space around things? And how is that space important? Whether it's negative space in art, free time during the day, or the space between people, when we allow ourselves a moment of nothingness, we make room for creativity and so much more. Meant for ages four to eight, All About Nothing presents sophisticated concepts with simplicity and clarity, with lots of room for thoughts and discussion. Eggs come in all shapes and sizes, and they can tell you a lot about an animal. From the same creative team that brought us pre-reader favorites, whose poop is that and whose footprint is that, whose egg is that is a clever preschool page turner that pairs seven eggs with information about the animal's survival mechanisms, asking kids to guess which animal laid which egg, introducing them to a wide variety of species, from ostriches to platypuses to even prehistoric creatures. Author Darren Lundy is a mammalogist at the Smithsonian, and his back matter includes egg excellent egg facts, while illustrator Kelsey Oside has included the fun and engaging detail that all eggs showcased in the book are drawn to actual size. Developed in collaboration with math experts at STEM education nonprofit Turk, under a grant from the Heising Simons Foundation, the storytelling math series was developed to bring better math storybooks to children of all ages and backgrounds demonstrating that kids are already awesome mathematical thinkers through stories written and illustrated by diverse creators, expanding representation in math books by including characters of color. This spring, Storytelling Math offers up Leanne Louise Puzzled, written by Anna Crespo and illustrated by Giovanna Medeiros. Leah and Luis have received a message from their grandmother, Vava. It's a puzzle with a secret message. To solve the puzzle, The twins start a hand-on exploration of spatial sense and geometry, sorting pieces, matching colors and shapes, and rotating pieces to fit. Finally, they finish the puzzle, and it's just in time. It's a picture of Ava, and she's coming from Brazil to visit. Research shows that puzzles are a powerful way for kids to develop spatial sense, which left us at Charles Bridge, well, puzzled as to why, why there weren't more puzzle books already available in the market for kids. I'm confident our next familiar face needs no introduction with a new adventure in the Lola Reads series where book loving Lola and her playful little brother Leo celebrate family time and togetherness through reading, special activities and new adventures. Lola's grandmother is coming to visit and the family spends the week doing different activities like shopping for presents for family back in Tanzania, having dance parties and making special mandazi donuts. Nana, Bibi, and Lola share a special time as Nana, Bibi remembers all the things she used to do with her own Nana in Lola's eighth adventure. I'm so pleased to share our new early reader series every day with April and May. May is tidy. April is not. April is showy. May is not. But April and May are best friends, and their pets are best friends, too. These best friends have seven fully illustrated adventures lined up for releases through fall and spring celebrating friendship with a story for each day of the week that models key social emotional skills like cooperation, communication, empathy, and decision-making. 
series itself is penned by Megan Dad Lambert, whose experience as a children's literature scholar, not to mention a mastermind behind the whole book approach and how to shake up story time and get kids reading, informs her strong writing and spot on early reader voice. All seven are a great choice for fans of Charlie and Mouse and King and Kayla, as well as solid choices to help kids gain reading confidence and develop social emotional skills to navigate friendship and the world around them. Thanks for joining today and don't hesitate to reach out. I'd be keen to hear your thoughts and look forward to reading the Charles Bridge list with you.